Hey everybody, welcome back to the West of Loathing. Beans! We're back to playing and saving Why did like the stupid walk? You damn right we did. Now I gotta do the funny and I gotta speak in the cowboy accent if you know what I mean. Nerd. Sometimes you just gotta wide eye step and shit. That didn't seem like a smart thing to do. <laughs> I haven't brought you anything to read yet. Okay, no hurry, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Leave him. Nope, you're not allowed until Peck anymore, remember? Bam. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trade's the game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid? How do you trade? <laughs> uh, what are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks of soap for a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning Skinner, who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. <sighs> Let's use some of our dickering techniques, shall we? How about some yeah. free dynamite? <laughs> Sir, I must admit you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Thank you. No trades right now, thanks. We got dynamite for free. He's washing himself in the trade shop. <laughs> Beg your pardon, mister. Dang it. The horsery. Okay. The horsery. <laughs> Get a turnip. Got a dusty turnip. Whoa. Kimmy. Holy shit. <laughs> We're white put our ass on the ground. Oh, right in the Amazing. shit, too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 300 miles is too far on foot. You need a horse. What was our mission, anyways? Oh, yeah, we got the nasty ring from the spittoon. Remember that? <laughs> that was... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. I'm gonna ore hole my... There's a dirty mug here. Grab it. I think we can bring that to the bartender. There's still some meat ore in this cart. Dig through it. <laughs> you gain 65 meat. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. Oh. Oh, wow. Are we hopping on the fucking- What? What the fuck? <laughs> also- Oh, shadows that work like that in this- Oh! You find a disgusting chunk of meat ore. Unrefined meat nugget. Are you telling me there's meat in the ground? I guess. <sighs> Amazing. They're all labeled blasted caps. Period of- This is part of the label. That's why it's inside in quotes like that. What are you doing? Okay. Dang, it looks like you need a crowbar to pry one of these open. Uh, tools. <clears throat> Forgive me for doing a wild western accent, but honestly, what's a, well, if you're gonna play a game, and you ain't gonna do one of them, <laughs> it's all about being a cowboy, what's the sense, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you managed to unlock the toolbox, but the needle is ruined in the process. Most of the tools inside are pretty right us in a way nothing but there's a pretty nice crowbar good thing we saved that needle and didn't trade it yeah try one of the crates open with your crowbar and get a blasting cap what love it plunger both kinds well surely we could use a weapon wait Sign lied, there's only one kind. Hook up the plunger to it. <laughs> Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation, you've hooked up a plunger and shrunk it a far distance away. Well? Up. Oh. Press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasting cap. Oh. You succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger, excuse me. Oh god. Oh. 
Kaboom! Got a horse in here. You see a dark horse? Barely. Approach her. Hey there, girl. It's okay. I'm a friend. <laughs> the horse shies away Aww. from you, though in this case it's more like cripplingly introverted away from you. Damn, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking call out. Oh, come hey. on. Don't be like that. I brought some oats for you. It ain't poison or anything. In uh, retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting to say. Pat her on the nose or feed her the oats? Uh, feed her the oats. Take a handful of oats in uh, the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go. Yummy yum. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt to hug her own shadow. Come on. Please. Pat her on the nose. You reach out to pat her yeah. nose. The horse ducks and steps further in the shadows. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Me. <laughs> Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine, okay? See? You take a handful of oats from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast here you've ever eaten. Still better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you were fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. Pat her on the pipe eater notes. God damn it. Wait. I. The horse I, hunches her shoulder and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her nose, but doesn't actually be fleeced, so that's something. There's a oh, okay. girl. Aw. Meet her the oats. Aww. The horse finally sees her relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of oats. While begrudgingly, she eats them, she gestures something behind you. You turn around and don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Well, okay then. Damn. Oh well. She we probably sent her back to that place. To, to the, um. Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, it goes back. Mm hmm. <laughs> there she is. I had oh, a feeling. There's there is. The horse seems uncomfortable when you look directly at her. Oh. Oh. It's just a super introverted horsey. Oh. Ice skating on the fucking. Okay. Love this. You know. Yeah, I was about to say. One, the crowbar yeah. is one of nature's simplest machines. It's exactly what you'd want on your side if a thing has a lid, and you don't want it to have a lid anymore. Or, <laughs> oh, or if there's just someone you don't like, and you really want to yeah. show them a bad time. Let's go to the graveyard. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Stupid. Grab the mug. Our founder, Zemaniah Boring, 1806 to 1885. He's actually That's a really fair. interesting guy. That's my voice. Okay, sure. Benjamin Crockett, 1320 to 1324. He showed up way too early. Yeah, fucking telling me, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Beauregard Skelton, Captain of the 3rd Cavalry, 1820 to 1866. This grave is really noisy. What? A skeleton! You're not getting past it without a scuffle! What a scuffle a it is! Uh. <laughs> Ow! Rude. Fuck you. <laughs> Yay. Skeleton collapses <laughs> into a pile of loose bones. Your glamour went up to level two. I just want to stay put. Amazing. That guy just wouldn't stay put. Your pulse quickens as you get new next to the um, spooky translucent horse. You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, though quickly you come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. Ah, I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't know. I tried. That's a little strange. How'd you do that without opening your mouth? Better on the nose. You pat yep. the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Do it, do it again. Yep, still cold. Do it again. But, yep, still cold. Brrr. 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 <laughs> Brrr. Oh Brrr. I like how I'm just adding more R's. Yep, you got the cold. idea. Brrr. You got the idea. It's colder. Feed her the oats. 
Here you go, girl. I have some oats. You hold a handful of little oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Burr. At least, don't look at me like that. <laughs> she holds the oats out again. The horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I can put some bone meal on them, but... I don't want to be anything that handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> you sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. And with that, she glides away into the direction of the town. Bizarre. Timothy Cock... Cochrane? I have 55 to 95, devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochrane, beloved daughter. Oh. Silas Cochrane, a baby. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. Damn. That got dark. Right? Meanwhile, me walking away you. like that. Right? I just went to the grave of a baby. That's, that's the lucky out, I'm just doing that. Ooh, mm -hmm. these money's rocks is really shiny. Grab it. You got an item, shiny rock. It's shiny and cool. it's about the size of a rock. No shit, really? I didn't know that's great. Right. Just sell it. Mostly worthless rock shot through with veins of bristle and flesh and, well, veins. Oh, lovely. Oh. Increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Okay, so we don't need to use that right now. Yeah. I'm like, extract some medicine. And get some venom too. There we go. I'm gonna take a guess if I say we poison. Yeah, we can. It's a small quantity yeah, of I snake think. venom made by you in a very fragile glass bottle made by an inner's glass blower. Damn. <clears throat> this little bottle of medicine that you made out of some oil from snakes. It's not the best. Funny you should ask, but it'll do. Okay. Looks like we got our first enemy. Cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's whip a snake with a snake. God. Damn. Oh shit. Damn, okay. It was a sleepy rattlesnake. You slain Aww. a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murder and Zebus. You collect one venom and one medicine. Yay! <laughs> Ow. I got a lot of bounces around on the thing. It's cute. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ow! Alright, you know okay. what, that's it. <coughs> it made sure it worked with that long snake. Two venom and medicine. Oh, goodness. Maybe give yourself some medicine because you're poison right now. Yep. Oh, shit. Are we just putting snakes in the briefcase? Is that what's going on? I think we are. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, like for use in combat. Around collecting okay. snakes, shoving them in the suitcase. The snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. <laughs> Ow. Snake whip, I think. Or, I don't know. Why not? Oh, whoops, wrong, what, wrong thing. <laughs> oh, ow. We better hurry up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good. So we can heal and do something. Oh, Schmack. Good. Ow. I like how it just walks up to you and boops its nose against you. Right. It's like really cute. Damn. Nice work. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you could always get a job as a snake exterminator. Yeehaw! <laughs> Your gumption's at level two. Two venom and two hey. medicine. Yup. I like we're just yup. <laughs> and alright. <laughs> Good. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, 
horse. It has googly eyes. The horse has gone That's snake stupid. crazy. Or maybe here's some other kind of crazy before I approach him. Hey there, boy. Fella, I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> That's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. <laughs> Look him in the eyes. Had his nose. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixing a glassy thousand yard stare. And the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now, and it's clear you don't actually you aren't actually made of spiders so. Pat his nose. <coughs> Carefully, gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. Bunk seems to recognize that you aren't gonna eat his eyes or suck out his soul. Whatever madness is bouncing around that Muscov is. That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I got a little <laughs> treat for you. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats as it gallops away with the winnie, or rather, a. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home Crazy. and onto the twelfth dimension. Cool. I think that might be it for this episode. Oh. Yeah. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Fuck you. I like how you just got bad at the thing. You're like trying to give you her good. Telling me what to do. <laughs> you don't own me! I own me! <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Good to see you again, Zabus. Say, I don't suppose you can help me with a little... Goblin problem. I found these mugs. Much obliged. You hand in the recovered mugs and collect your bounty. 50 meat. Thanks. Goblin problem? <laughs> yeah, one of the cowpokes that came through here from dirt water didn't wipe his boots off. and Got gulch goblin spores all over every damn where. Thought I'd clean them all up, but I must have missed one in the basement. I can help with that. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. I'll take care of it. Fungicide. Surely we could save the game, whatever, right? Overly. Stupid walking. I love how it's just an option. Right. <laughs> Pile up newspapers. Take one. A crate of nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails ya. I guess we're never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar, damn. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's fight the goblin. Mm. Seems to be strong. <laughs> Boy. Oh! It's a pussy. Right. We don't even need to use the fungicide, we can keep it. For whatever. Right? <laughs> Goblin sucks. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> no, can't do that. Nope. Yeah, stupid. Have been dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back with a job well done. He left spores everywhere, though. You need to hose him down with that can of fungicide. Did we use it? Did we? Yeah. Oh. I like okay. how I could have used it. But I wanted to try and level up some stuff I'd not. Tabity 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 tab. Amazing. Good to see you again, Zimus. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Zavis. I knew you were a stand-up fella for the moment you walked in here. Oh, this is a girl! I... <laughs> oh, shit. Well, keep me. Well, you already started voice acting here, so just continue. Might as well. Damn. Good. Here you go. That's the least I could do. It was very wave, thanks. Tip your hat. Who's the lady... Like, who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Oh, real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. <laughs> what was that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Yeah. So, about your family. Well, the woman glares at you. Are you Susie Co Cochran? 
I think it's Cochrane. Wait, was that the was that the entire family we fucking saw in the graveyard? Oh the God! Graveyard? Wait, I think it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. How? Oh. oh, it is. Oh, my last name. It is. Oh, that's sad. Oh no! no I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I saw it happen. I saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. Bartender said it was c cows. It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We, ma we ranched kept pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. A couple of days ago, it happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out with the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front yard, and the front door, and a fire started out back by the fruit cellar. House went up in blaze just like that. Well, what did you do? I... There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs with the kids because of the fire. And I saw Tim camp <laughs> right in front of me. I just... I ain't want to talk about it no more. I'm sorry. Well, what do we do now? This guard. Head was, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here. And no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of anybody. So where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. You know what? Yeah. I'll go get it for you. Let's go do something nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. All the war on this trial has boiled away. Damn. And the ranch house was burnt to the ground. Oh, jeez. Something behind this door is making some... Oh, dear. Ooh, that is some pissed off house. That house is the only thing still standing. You know what? Let's do this. Go through yep. it. Welcome to Happy's Humble Burger Farm. <laughs> For real? This looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Varmint skin and knife. Oh, we can skin things now. We can get pelts, whatever. Oh, cool. Allows you to collect skins from be- Ooh. Okay. We'll keep the crowbar for now for cow destroying Billy's pies. We're not safe. Oh, shit. Well, there's the cow, I think. This thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to that safe though, dealing with it. Alright. <clears throat> Stew this. Yep. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Oh, Do I even have one? <laughs> oh! I think uh, you just used finger guns? Maybe? I did. <laughs> oh, it's because we Crazy. have Moxie! We can literally do a taunt kill. Nice. Oh. You defeated that nasty cow, skull floating in a cow to flame. Hooray! Hey. Grab Susie's rifle. I will equip it for now because. Yep. No, Can the you? fuck I won't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> yep. Oh well. Yeah. Do 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 do. Got your Ma's rifle back. Oh my god. <laughs> Found my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Oh. Oh no, don't cry for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Zavis. Thanks, Zavis. Can't rightly see what this means to me. <sighs> well, that's enough well in my misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you hit of us, you just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. You're absolutely gonna let her. Thanks Hell for yeah. Rifle. I snap and shit. Howdy, stranger! Welcome to Boring Springs! I'm the sheriff in these parts. What the what? I'm pretty sure I explained this already. You wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. 
gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the... Uh, I'm not gonna say that in, in, in idea that Discord's probably gonna fuck it up or my microphone. I don't know. The Frick Gang, there we go. Trust me. There you go. Discord's a bitch. Yep. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. I hate it. Ain't much good without the door. Ain't even Discord too, it's microphone as well. I don't even want to risk it taking up the wrong word. And Real. I need someone tough, smart, and slick to go fetch it back for me. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I could just say, hmm, nah. <laughs> Why do you say that? I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. <gasps> you deputized Ooh. a gun? You're new in town, and maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much here to do except drink. I'll write down where the Frick gang is hiding out for you. Got it. You could say fucker gang, because it'll be funny. That would be. <laughs> <sighs> we need that. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Uh, we already we already said hello to him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Stop stepping and shit. Well, stop walking over the shit then, you nerd. That works, yeah. We got a pistol and a crowbar. That's... Gordon Freeman. Sorry. <laughs> For real. Thudfucker, the fucker gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a little. <laughs> I think night. I like. I think I think I like fucker gang. Me too. Funny. Just shoot him. <laughs> Doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. You sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah. Really? You're just gonna down a hapless <laughs> sleeping man and cold. Cold is the only blood I have. Shoot him. He's just a kid. Everybody dies. Dang, oh partner. God. You got a perk, ruthless. Damn. <laughs> what does it do for us? <laughs> There Nothing. Character. Ruthless. <laughs> You're a cold blooded killer, and people can see it in your eyes. It's often the last thing they see, in fact. The Damn. ruthless options will be available in some situations. I like that. Okay. Pile of random stuff the fucker gang stole. Finders keepers. I don't know why it's so funny to call them the fucker gang. <laughs> Wait a minute, can we, can we put these on? If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. Oh, jeez. Oh, I mean, fair enough. Uh, I guess. It's not we're, like we're wearing anything, like, expensive. Yeah. And one of the fucker boys is dozing in a bathtub. Drown him. <laughs> you push uh... his head into the water and hold him there until he stops struggling. At least he died warm. Damn. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, motherfucker. You cautiously approach the fucker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and these drop on the conversation for a while. One of the iPads is quiet, but the gatherer's name is Snipe. The squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Fucking shoot one of them in the back. <laughs> oh my god! You draw your pistol oh and execute the one with the iPad. His brother screams, jumps behind a barrel, and starts firing you wildly. Shouldn't take long. I'll get poison. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you missed You idiot. suck! <laughs> That's a barrel providing cover. Oh. That's fine. That's it. You know what? Okay. Gonna whack him with the cover? No. Like, we're gonna break his cover. That's what we're gonna do. He's poisoned anyway, so it's not like he's having a good time. <laughs> or wait, should I just aim at him? I think just aim at him. <laughs> or... That'll do there it. There you go. <laughs> oh no. Uh -huh. <laughs> eat it. Damn. The leaders of the fucker gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Your grits increase. Time to recover the sheriff's door. Mug on the table. A pile of, a pile of the fucker's ill-gotten gains. And the door. Yep. Don't know how we're able to carry an entire jail door on our back, but you know. Right. 
Oh, sorry. Just, okay. Yeah. Riding on the fucking lantern. <laughs> I found these mugs. Much obliged. Thanks. Just thought I'd say howdy. Your mission's accomplished, I reckon. <laughs> See, the fucker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. There's a prison cell here. The here, the <laughs> this here prison just yeah. got about four times more secure. Are there any more fucker boars left for me to round up? Nope, they won't be bothering this town anymore. Well, no. That's a road lo load right off my mind. Looks like I owe you a reward. Holy shit. Got Holy another shit. little task for you. You've got the time. Should be a lot simpler. What you need? Well, the fuckers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new one. I'll keep an eye out. Damn. Where would I find that? Hey. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. No. Uh, no. Look, did we get a book? Yeah, we got a newspaper! Hold on. Oh, yay. Did you bring me something to read? Much advice, partner. Let's see here. What can I do to return a favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I live behind the outhouse at Orhole Mine. It's yours if you can go get it. You'll find a use for it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to the mine. Let's get. Well, I'm kidding. Not that this was a funny thing to kid about, I guess. Option to dig in certain places. Okay, so like rubble here, maybe? Maybe. No. Maybe inside, oh, inside the, mine. the mine. I love how we walk. Stupid All walking right. is like a match. Oh! Magic. A silver Thanks. nugget. And meat. Oh! What? 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 Examine the hole. Oh, there. There you go. You bend down and shine your lantern into the crack in the rock. You barely make out a square shape down there. Well, of arm trees. Looks like someone dropped a small metal box into the hole. You don't know if it was hide or discard it. You're truly desperate to find out what's in there. You can try reasoning with the rock. Your primary Maybe argument with your lot. bundle of dynamite. How many needles do we have? We're getting free dynamite. Okay. We can get three dynamite. That's good. Crawling like a baby. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'll trade the soap for a lock. Oh we could have Oh that's right, you had the lock, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe that's maybe that's soap in the <laughs> We'll see. Or if it's still in the bathtub, if it's not. Hopefully. Oh, he's dead no. dead. Well Damn. That just means we'd be more careful whenever. I'm That's guessing fine. if you kept him alive, you could have taken the soap from him? <laughs> yeah. Know. And if we get oh. the extra dynamite, we'll have two dynamite at least. Shovel the shit. Nasty work, but someone's gotta do it. Oh. <laughs> that squish. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, we got a mug. Let's go. Let's see if there's anything in Snake's Gulch. Right. Uh, no. No. Okay. Cochrane Ranch. Mm. Oh, Doesn't well. look like it. All right, let's talk to the horsey people now. Don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. Sure thing. <laughs> Looks like my pale horse made it back safe too. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's mm -hmm. all of them. Can't take you enough. Here's a little extra for you. That's a thousand meat we just got. Holy shit. You said something about Jeez. an er injury earlier? Busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't know, ask how it's embarrassing. I was gonna doubt Kyle's have a look when she gave up doctoring. 
Well, why'd she do that? Nobody knows. Just shut herself in her office. She wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse? Or I think she was being sarcastic. I see. Well, what'd you know? I found Nurse Whiskey. Already. <clears throat> we picked it up earlier. Whiskey delivery for your dog. That's you. What brand? Nurse Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe? Then that ocean makes house calls. Alright, hold on. Uh oh. Aww. Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. If bloodshot, she also had her hand. Whiskey. That. She cracks open the whiskey, fills a small flask, she takes it out of her pocket, and puts the flask back in her part and starts chugging out of the floor. Oh. Holy shit. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who is the doctor here? Me or you? Alright, point taken. She's really compulsive of cleaning or she never cooks. It shouldn't be- shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? All the years. <laughs> Vanity looks like it doesn't see much use preen a little. Grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows. Oh! Oh. Hey Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're gonna do you much good in this doom forsaken hellhole. <laughs> you should try being less cheerful, Doc. <laughs> They're all medical books I'll except for a few. Uh, Make like a tree and leaf! Oh my god. The Legend of Curly's Meat. The book sure. tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat. Secreted in the hidden sense, not the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cow having like Curly Butterfield. Fred Ferguson. The book reports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. <laughs> At least there are some useful appendices on the back and some diagrams of appendices. <laughs> Goblinoid tongues. <laughs> oh shit. You start flipping through the Goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed. And you know that blurfs is the goblin word for hour. You've learned to be speak goblin, sort of. <laughs> Alright, make like a tree and leaf. <laughs> Continues to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe. Is uh, everything alright? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver fills with flicker fl <laughs> Cute. Shh, let me try that again. <gasps> How fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... She stares at you meaningfully. So, let's, uh... I mean, what's the matter, Doc? Nice. Looney Tunes joke. <laughs> what's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell on the course cart and you ask what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut? That could take a bite out of the living? Oh yeah, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my goddamn mind. But, how is that even possible? It is impossible! It goes against everything I know but medicine. that dead patients don't get back up. Patient? Uh, oh. Ouch. Ew. <clears throat> Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterwards and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough. Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Uh, oh. Oh, uh. God. Oh, um, That was her husband. Shit. <laughs> Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. <laughs> a rumor? What is it? When you get incomplete information from an unverified oh, source. <laughs> okay, not what is a rumor, ma'am. I want to know what the rumor is. <laughs> God damn it, right? <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that there's a fella out there, West, that's causing it a necromancer, they call him. Oh, shit. Supposedly, he's, t he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? 
I never heard of any bean slinger raising the dead, have you? That was one hell of a can of beans. Hmm. <laughs> what now? What's the deal with all the TNT? Someone, <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go. I can blow up myself in this bit so small that there won't be nothing left to come back. That seems drastic. Drastic hell? No way am I taking the risk of becoming one of those things. I oh, want well, fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. Oh my god, what now? <laughs> about that necromancer? <laughs> so many exist, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try to stop him. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A gray-haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows surgery. Did you hit your head on on a bar stool, kid? You ain't that old. And if I were going to pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows about death, but in a scientific way. A doctor, right? And, sounds to me like you've got plenty of motivation to get the job done. For your friends and everyone. You'd be doing nothing anyway. You'd be locking yourself in a house full of TNT, drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doing any doctoring anymore. You seriously expect me to ride out west by myself, chasing a rumor? Don't have to be by yourself. Well, if I'm heading west too, tag along with me, maybe we can find the guy and stop him. It's crazy. Impossible. Impossible like raising the dead is impossible? Alright, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Cool. <laughs> so now we got two gals on the way with us. Yep. Damn, we're ladies, man. Hell yeah. I'm guessing you need a horsey. Did you sell me a horse? Sure thing. I should warn you, though, horse get mighty attached to the rider, so once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Stupid one. Please. <laughs> I'll take him. Hubert? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking Hubert. Hubert. All right then, Hubert the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Damn right it does. Holy shit! Almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase. Complimentary map. Thank you. Cool. All right, let's let the gals know we're ready to go. Yep. Oh wait. Another mug. There we go. Get the fuck back in there. Oh okay. So we just head west then. I think so. You won't be able to come back any further. Oh, yes. did you return the mugs that yeah. you had? Oh, okay. So I think we're good. Alright, then you're probably horsed and start ready to start your new life in the West. All you need is a partner, someone to share the trail with, somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Oh, I can't take them all? Ah, oh, damn. We're taking Susie. S Susie, yeah. One last thing, Journal. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it. Promise to give you a nice round of experience. Yeah. Why not? Yay. You can sell the West map Holster gave you. It only lists two things Town of Dirtwater and Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westmost camp. Wish I could go to the railroad, but it's gonna make us go to Dirtwater first. Yeah. Holy shit, our stupid horse is there. Yay! What's new, Susie? I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts. See how bad the cow attacks are getting. Alright. You know so. Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are. Or at least where. Guess we'll just have to see. There's one, there's one not far from here. Am I forgetting about anything? Okay. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Angry lady! Oh my god. And that is a good place to end this. Thank you everybody for watching. Yep. Take care. And have, have a good, a good one. one. Bye. Bye.